Hey, we're going to be reading today in 1 Thessalonians chapter 1, verse 2 through 3. It says, We are grateful to God for your lives, and we always pray for you. Again, here's that constant prayer. We always pray for you. For we remember before our God and Father how you put your faith into practice, how your love motivates you to serve others, and how unrelenting is your hope-filled patience in our Lord Jesus Christ. So, faith, hope, and love we're talking about. So how, your, how you put your faith into practice. So we want to be those that don't just say, you know, we don't want to be hearers of the word. We want to be doers of the word. We want to put our faith into practice. What we believe, what we hear and believe, we live out. So we put our faith into practice. Um, how your love motivates you to serve others and how unrelenting is your hope filled patience in our Lord Jesus Christ. So our hope is in Jesus and our love motivates us to serve one another in love, just as Jesus Christ came not to be served, but to serve, to give his life as a ransom for many. So we too are those that lay down our lives for others. So I wanted to read also in first um, Corinthians 13 about faith, hope, and love. So 1 Corinthians 13, uh, we'll start in, we'll do verse 13. It says, until then, there are three things that remain, faith, hope, and love, yet love surpasses them all. So above all else, let love be the beautiful prize for which you run. Remember, this is where it's talking about, even if I have faith that can move mountains, but I don't have love, that, that matters nothing. It doesn't matter what our gifting is. If we don't have love, nothing else matters. And so we want to have, yes, we want to be walking in faith and we want to be loving and serving others through love. And we want to be having our hope set on Jesus Christ. But the greatest of these is love. Why? Because if we don't have love, none of the other gifts that the spirit births in us and gives to us, it doesn't matter. Love is what covers over a multitude of sins. Jesus is love. He himself is love. And he said that the world is going to know you by your love. He's, you're, they're going to know that you're on my disciples if you love one another. And so we know that the first and greatest commandment is what? Love the Lord your God with all of your heart and all of your soul and all of your mind and love others as you love yourself. And Jesus said later, love others even as I have loved you, so you must love one another. That the love of God really isn't in us if we don't love one another as Jesus loved. So we make it our goal, our aim is to love as Jesus loved. We first have to receive the love of Jesus. We receive that we are fully free, fully forgiven, that he loves us just as we are. He died so that we could have forgiveness of our sins, but he also loves us enough not to keep us where we are, but to sanctify us and to mold us into his image. And so we receive that Jesus loves me perfectly. His perfect love casts out fear. We receive his perfect love in and through our lives, and that enables us to love others as Jesus loves. So let's pray for this greatest commandment of love today. Jesus, thank you that you are love. God, you are love. Jesus, you came to show us the full expression of God the Father's love, that we might know that you are love. You are holy. You are perfect. And we love you, Jesus. Help us to love one another as you love us. God, help us to lay down our lives Help us to lay down our own agendas, to lay down being right, to lay down every right that we think that we have, and just humble ourselves under you so that we can love one another as you love. Help our faith to just strengthen us and propel us forward in you. Um, help our love to wrap around others and help our hope to always grow in you, that we always have our hope set on the faith that we have in you, Jesus. We pray all of this in Jesus' holy name, amen.